X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. Well, John Rappaport is an investigative journalist, best-selling author, and a frequent contributor to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com and our online syndicated columns. He also is uh, the uh, editor of NoMoreFakeNews.com, and we've got him on with us for two segments today. We've got a bunch of guests jam-packed uh, on this Sunday edition. We're here every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. And we, of course, return weekdays uh, with the live weekday show, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Most Sundays, this broadcast is live as well. Sometimes you hear uh, David Knight and our other reporters uh, hosting the show. Right now, they're over in Europe, uh, in Copenhagen, Denmark, covering the 60th anniversary of the Bilderberg Group. And I'm going to have them on tomorrow with a final take uh, on the event that's been going on for 60 years, openly to establish world government. The dam really broke this year more than ever on Bilderberg, thanks to Infowars.com, WorldNetDaily.com, DrudgeReport.com, and all the rest of the real media. Most of it is libertarian slash what you'd call paleoconservative or constitutionalist. 
because we're diametrically opposed to Bilderberg, just instinctively, to being slaves to offshore corporate interest. Uh, and you see a Tea Party, Ron Paul style, UKIP sweeping the EU Parliament elections, the British elections, the local elections in England, the national elections. Same thing starting to happen here. This is a real revolution. It's got the Republicans and Democrats trying to target it to kill it here domestically. Same thing in Europe. Now, can they co-opt it? They're going to try. But so far, they've been unable to do it. They try to take over the Tea Party, demonize it as Republican. That didn't work. So I wanted to ask John Rappaport, who's a savvy media analyst, joining us from Southern California, his take on Bilderberg 2014 and the mind control that world government didn't exist and these shadowy rooms didn't exist. We, had, we saw reporters beat up the videos on Infowars.com. We saw the windows blacked out at the five-star Marriott Resort in Copenhagen. Uh, we saw giant fences put up, free speech zones, all for something that didn't exist. But suddenly, the dam is broken. Hundreds of publications from the Wall Street Journal to the London Guardian to CNBC are now forced to report on it. And most of them said, yeah, it looks like a corporate conspiracy. They've gone from denying it exists to actually being kind of against Bilderberg. We did see a few publications make fun of it. But uh, Rappaport, what is happening? Well, as you say, Alex, uh, the dam has burst. Uh, the news has gotten out from Infowars and other media outlets are picking it up and they're being forced to admit that it exists. And also the whole structure of monolithic media control of the planet has shattered. And to me, that is one of the main agendas that these people behind closed doors are discussing as we speak over there. What are we going to do about that? We're no longer able to just send lies down the pipeline and have them published as fact in the controlling media because there's too much media now. We can't keep a lid on everything. And how are we going to gain back that control? What can we do? I'm quite sure that those discussions are ongoing. And of course, one of the main suggestions will be to provoke a major crisis, an event that will need to be covered with one story, one set of facts, aka lies, that will try to bring back one control, one world control of the media so that everybody's on the same page. Because they're losing the battle. They can't, you know, keep putting their fingers in the dam and stopping the water. With the major media even now reporting on the event, uh, they're in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Well, here's an example. Nielsen reported uh, last week that CNN in a year lost 44% of their viewers, MSNBC 24%. Uh, and, and, and that's from their already shrunk audience, their joke level. Ed Schultz just quit his radio show. There's no so-called liberal radio because they're not liberals. They're fascists. I would consider you a liberal, myself a liberal, more guns, more freedom, more, more of our own money. I mean, I think the whole facade's falling. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely falling. No question about it. And not just in the United States, all over the world. So these guys are living in the past over there at Bilderberg. You know, they're still trying to behave as if they've got an iron grip on everything. And it's, you know, 1965 and nobody even knows they exist and they're meeting every year and they're trying to pretend that, but other voices are among them are saying, you know, we have to wake up here. This whole thing is being destroyed. Our whole uh, control factor is being destroyed. And so I think that another one of their discussions that has to do with mind control is how do we improve the technology of surveillance? I mean, it's awesome even now, but how do we keep track of everybody all the time, everywhere on the planet, whatever they do, wherever they go, their actions, their thoughts, their statements, their words, online, offline, everywhere? Because that's really, in their minds, the only solution they have. That's right. And what they've got, uh, all the big establishment government outfits saying in net neutrality, uh, in fairness, uh, the, the repeal of the fairness doctrine, bring back restrictions on talk radio, bring back uh, restrictions on all sorts of speech.
Uh, they're telling college students you can't have a fiesta party. It's racist. Uh, you can't say the word girl. It's you can't say the word bossy. I mean, this is a Monty Python skit. If it wasn't actually happening, it's so absurdist that I really do now think they're smoking their own propaganda dope. Yeah, no question about it. Hey, let me shift gears. We're going to go to break here in a minute and come back and get into some other topics that, that I know you want to get into. But Santa Monica, the so-called mass shooting, half the six people that were killed, you know, he's the seventh, so we don't count him, were killed by knives. Uh, but then Dr. Steve Pachenik's coming up later, you know, famous spy in his own right. He says it's a false flag. You live out there in Southern California. What's your gut tell you? You know, I just finished reading for the second time this guy, uh, Elliot Rogers' manifesto, that huge, whatever it is, 140-page document. And I got to say that there's something that rings exceedingly phony about this. Watching him talk on video, reading his words. This looks like some kind of a put-up prop job to me. He doesn't sound legit uh, for several reasons. He's making himself out to be, boo-hoo, look at me, I can't get a girl, I have money, I have a BMW. But when you read his words and you listen to him talk, it's like he's faking the whole thing. It's like it's coming off as an arrogant joke. Yeah, exactly. You know, this isn't somebody who's really desperate. This is somebody who's faking being desperate, who's faking the whole message that he's trying to put forward here. And of course, in the wake of the shooting, we know the agenda, you know, more psychiatric care, invasive psychiatric care, take away everybody's guns, which would have now have to include white knives. men are bad, more racial division. I mean, it just goes on and on. Exactly. To me, this there's something set up and phony about this whole deal. It's just well, what I don't get is why in Aurora, Sandy Hook, and now this massive connections to Hunger Games. You know, the first time there was a connection, I said, come on, listeners, knock it off. The second time where she lives in the town, you know, the author, it gets a little weird. Now his dad's the director. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is getting weird. His dad's a unit director on the Hunger Games, and he directed this one small sequence within Hunger Games that was a propaganda message about the new society and how we have to ritually sacrifice the children in order to remember uh, that the treason of the rebellion was a horrible crime and will never stand for it again. And then you've got children killed at Sandy Hook, children killed in Santa Barbara. And they have the exact same armored vehicles in the new movie, the, the second one, Catching Fire, that they are actually deploying on our streets. It's the same armored vehicle. Yeah. And, and then Marxism is the way to fix the problems when the globalists run that. I'm telling you, this is getting so weird. I can't figure it out. I don't know the truth. I'm trying to find it just like you are, folks. We'll be back. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality, delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say, is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. 
Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there was a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is doing designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Final segment in this hour, we have got uh, Dr. Steve Pachinik joining us and Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. Uh, in the next hour, the second hour, you do not want to miss that key intel on multiple fronts. And we'll get Dr. Pachinik's uh, take on the, on the situation uh, with the mass shooting last week. He, he told me in an email, clear false flag. And... He used to run psych warfare operations for the Pentagon on record and co-wrote a bunch of Tom Clancy's books. I mean, it, it's, it's really off the charts to have him saying that. Um, let's uh, go back in this final segment for this hour with media analyst of nomorefakenews.com, John Rappaport. John, during the break, you said you wanted to get back into some more on Bilderberg, then your take on the Snowden revelations the last week, and then this new document the Washington Times put out that the Pentagon leaked to him that the Pentagon's concerned about the open admission that Obama wants to use drones, tanks, troops against the Tea Party. Uh, I mean, this is just, I, I can't believe how all this stuff's coming out. John Rappaport, uh, other thoughts on Bilderberg's 60 year anniversary. One of the things that they're doing over there is in the wake of the Snowden revelations that the US has been spying on other government leaders around the world, other governments, they want to smooth all this out among themselves. They want to sit down and say, look, we know you knew we were spying on you. You're spying on us. You know, let's let's not, you know, fake it here. We, we know what's going on. We've always known what's going on. And it's been OK until it hit the press. So let's, you know, smooth over our problems. Let's figure out how we're going to play it in the press. We can act insulted and so forth and protest and everything. But underneath it, the surveillance programs are going to expand. You know that. We know that. Let's make sure there's no hard feelings. Everybody's on the same page. That is preeminent because they don't want this kind of thing with Snowden to suddenly cause a serious blow up and personal conflicts among world leaders who are all aiming toward one world government. 
And as far as the Snowden revelations on the Brian Williams interview, you know, he says, I'm a spy. <laughs> you know, I'm not a low level analyst. He decides for some reason, he didn't want to say this before, but now he does. I was trained as a spy by the CIA, by NSA, by DIA. I worked under cover names abroad, overseas. I'm a spy. Well, the main takeaway from that is, and people have to really understand this, is that spies lie all the time. That's what they're trained to do. I mean, you can't become a spy unless you lie. That's the main test. Can you lie through your teeth 24 hours a day and with a straight face? So now this begins to throw into doubt something about Snowden. Regardless of how he appears, regardless of what he's saying, regardless of the fact that, yeah, he's exposed these documents, which certainly some of us knew about all along. Oh, yeah. I mean, now he's the only avatar, the only symbol exposing any type of big brother when there was all these real whistleblowers that are getting put in jail or ignored that nobody's giving attention to that have brought out even bigger revelations. He's a way to control it. And that's what Pachenik said a year ago and earlier this year. And I kind of poo pooed it, but I tell you, it, it's starting to really look bad. Yeah. And also it's starting to look like Snowden was a way to let the population know that they're being spied on all the time, because that's the main point. That's it, a trial balloon throwing it in our face and then doubling down saying it's traitorous to even oppose it. Exactly. But you've got to let the population know that they're being spied on all the time if surveillance has any purpose at all, because that's really the purpose of it is to keep people in check so that they won't think certain things, won't say certain things. Yeah, they want you to know you're being listened to, so you self-censor instead of saying, so what? I've done nothing wrong. I'm going to expose you. Quit listening to me, criminal. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, that's his function in the larger scheme of things, is to be the one who lets everybody know that they're being spied on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what else is it? That's what it is. But I know I'm a moral, real guy. I know you're real. I want freedom. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a paleo, conservative, a libertarian, constitutionalist. And, and so I know that when I expose the spying, people would say, oh, you're doing that to scare us. You work for them. But even if I don't work for them, I guess if the public are cowards, I guess I do. I guess if I expose this evil's going on, I guess I am doing the bad guy's work if I've misjudged the public. And they're really cowards that will roll over now because I'm... I'm I'm telling them what's going on. I mean, do you see what I'm saying intellectually? I do, yes, I do. You know, on balance, though, people can detect when you're being real. You know, you're not being a spy. You're being real, and you're exposing the truth. And that's what communicates to people. Whereas in the case of some of these so-called defectors, you say, yeah, well, their real mission is to let the public know that they're being spied on. I mean, that's the whole purpose. Sure, of you notice the Russians have been trying to get rid of him forever. Yeah. And, and then nobody will take him. I mean, they want him out. Sure. Because it also sure. becomes this anti-Russia thing. Remember how they didn't want to let him fly in, but he did? Yeah. I, I tell you, I don't want to demonize him. He may be a good guy. He may be getting handled and manipulated as well. Who knows? I think that was the whole objective from the beginning, and that's what I wrote about originally when the revelations came out, that he was being manipulated from the beginning. I mean, no, no, was, we carried your articles, and Kurt Nemo agreed with him and did his own digging, and I kind of, uh, I've just been accused so much myself that I kind of have this defense mechanism that, oh, no, he's not a triple agent or something. But I tell you, we live in a cloak and dagger world, John, and the public just better start thinking about it. Shifting gears into one final topic with you in the time we have, I'm sure you saw uh, last Friday uh, the article that Drudge Report picked up that was on the WashingtonTimes.com. Uh, it's also on Infowars.com. We then wrote about it. This new document that got leaked to them, 3025.18, Department of Defense Directive, where it says we're going to use drones, tanks, armor against the general public. Civil unrest is coming. And then if you expand in other documents, it's Tea Party. This is the total proof of what we've been saying. The military is being formed into an army to go after the general public. Uh, what is your take on this? Here's the headline. Uh, Bill Gertz, directive outlines Obama's plan to use the military against citizens. This has been a plan for a long time. But it's certainly escalated since 
And this is just a continuation of that. This is saying, you people, all you people of the US population know that nobody can be trusted, that there are people out there who want to do us harm. And so we're going to have to clamp down on everybody in order to preserve your freedom, of which there will be none when we you know, militarize the entire country. So, so this is, you know, leaking one drip and drop at a time, and then we give, boom, this latest revelation, which is bigger. It's, again, to let people know this is what we're doing. This is, and, and then people say, yeah, wow, that's, I don't know about that. And then they go back to what they were doing, and they become, you know, mind control to accept this. Okay, so this is going to be the state of affairs. It's not just going to be the cops. It's going to be the entire military now that's going to lock down the country because we're always under threat. The war on terror never stops. And I guess I'll just have to accommodate myself to that. So this is more training for the American people, so to speak. Uh, uh, yeah. Undoubtedly. And then it's not pointed at Al-Qaeda, which they now admit our government runs. It's pointed directly at us. Why do you think they're going after the real Tea Party so much? Oh, well, to me, that's obvious because it was and is a burgeoning movement of people who, when you take away all the insane propaganda, you know, against it, are people who are constitutionalists, who look at the meaning of the original uh, documents and say, OK, so this was all about limiting the power of government. Wow. Individual freedom, limiting the power of government. That's what government should be. That's what we want. That's what these people are saying. That's what they've really been saying all along at the core of the Tea Party and these constitutional movements. And that's a direct threat against the state, against the government of the United States, which is all about expanding power. Exactly. So, it's diametrically opposed to the collectivist Borg model. Exactly totally opposed. So it's like we got to clamp down on these people. We've got to associate them with terrorists, with threats, with crazy people. You know what, John? We're out of time, but I got this one little five-minute segment coming up that some stations don't carry, but folks at PrisonPlanet.tv see. We're going to break. Come back and do five more minutes with us to finish this, because I want to talk about solutions. You, you say it better than anybody, how to break out of the trance, how to wake folks up. I want to talk about how to break the trance coming up. Second hour, John Rappaport, one more segment, then we've got Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, the father of Reaganomics on the economy, on world politics, uh, on Bilderberg, and so much more, and then Dr. Steve Pachenik, uh, spy master, co-author Tom Clancy. It's all coming up. Tell your friends and family to tune in. There's no other talk radio like it. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply 
supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. 